Hi there! In this episode of the Learn SAP in 5 minutes series, we will see together how to create a layout. In order to present the layout configuration in SAP, we will use the transaction code IW38, which will help us to see a list of maintenance orders. So first, here, you will have the selection screen. Then, let's execute the transaction in order to get the list of the maintenance orders based on all these criteria. This is the result table based on the standard layout of SAP. You can see that you have first the order, the maintenance order number, then you have the order type, then the basic start date and the description of the maintenance order. But maybe you would like to add in this result table several additional columns based on other fields which are present in the maintenance order. And to do that, you will click on this button, current, and then a new pop-up will appear, which is the change layout pop-up. On the left side, you have a first table which display the columns which are currently present in the result table. And on the right side, the column set. These are all the fields you may add in your result table. Let's suppose that you would like to add, for example, the entered by field. Then you just select it and drag and drop it in the left column. Maybe you can also add the plant here. You will do the same to drag and drop it, the field, in the left side. So now we will have the enter it by and the plant columns in more in our result table. In the same way, if you don't need, for example, the basic start date, then you select it and you drag and drop it in the right table by clicking on this arrow. And now the basic start date will not be present anymore in the result table. Then you have here also an order possibility. Let me interrupt you five seconds. If you are interested in our content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell in order to be notified each time we will publish a new training video in SAP. You can choose on which order you would like to display these columns. On this way, the selected line column will appear in first position, the order number in second position, the order type in third position and so on. If you'd like, for example, to set the plant as a first position, then just select it and click on this move up button into or until the first position or the position you would like to address to it. You also have several options like the sort order functionality, the filter order functionality and the display configuration without horizontal grid lines, without vertical grid lines and so on. So once done, then you will click on save as in order to create and save your layout. So here you will give a name to your layout. So for example, test underscore IW38 and you will give it a name or a description. So, for example, I will set my username and the T code IW38. Then you will press Enter. Once saved, this is the new results table. And first, you will recover the plant, then the selected line, the order, the order type, the entered by column and the description of the maintenance order. And you can also see that the basic start date of the maintenance order is not present anymore. If you would like to select or to get an over layout, then you will have to click on settings, layout, get. 
and here you will have the possibility to select an already created layout and to change it. Let's select this one which was already created. So you can see it's not the same columns. Finally, if you would like that your layout will be set up automatically by ASAP once you will execute your transaction, then you will have to configure the layout field here, which is part of the overs domain here, and to select the, you, the layout you would like to charge automatically once you will execute the transaction code. And if required, you can save your variant in the selection screen with the specific layout you would like to use. Thanks to you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you like our content and to visit our website to know more about SAP. See you soon!